YouTube, it's me the Shen. In this video, I'm doing a one palette tutorial with the beautiful Carly Bye Bell Deluxe Edition palette. Now, if you watch any of my recent videos, one of my most recent ones was actually a first impressions of this palette. And it's just so beautiful. The stuff inside of it is so beautiful. And I can't wait to actually finally do a tutorial over it. And as you can see, I have my base done and I have one eye done. And we are going to recreate what's on this eye on this eye. Now here is a closer look for you guys. Basically what I did was a really natural and very easy eye look. And the only thing that's really different about it is the pink liner that I did. Now there is a color in this uh, palette that I just loved so freaking much. And it's this pink one right here with the orangish goldish reflexes in them. And it's just so pretty. It just calls out to me every time I open it. So I had to incorporate it in some unique way. I was thinking about maybe doing maybe a natural cut crease and having the line, not liner, but pink all over my lid or something. Or maybe putting the pink as a cut crease or using it as blush. I don't know. All I know is I really want to incorporate it in a really, really unique way. So I came up with using it as liner. Why not? So if you want to see how I created this look onto this eye, then please keep on watching. I'll put some personal now, huh? <laughs> anyway, you know I gotta prime my eyes to start off with. So I'm gonna be using my trusty NYX Proof It Waterproof Eye Primer. For some reason, I just want to keep on saying foundation every time I bring this stuff up. Just gonna add the tiniest bit because this stuff can get very messy very quickly. You do not want a lot. I'm going to prime my entire lid all the way up to my brow. To set the primer, I'll be taking the really pale shade at the bottom, and I'll be using this BH Cosmetics brush. This is their number six. It's a flat eyeshadow brush. Just going to pick some of that up, and I'm going to pat it on top of the primer. I want the primer to be set before I move on, so all the shadows that will be going on top, will blend out seamlessly and there will basically be no hassle. I'll be taking this practically everywhere where I put the primer so on my lid all the way up to my brow. For the crease I'm taking a big fluffy brush and I'm taking the very first color in the palette and this is going to be basically my transition shade since it's pretty close to my skin tone. I'm just gonna set this in my crease and I'm gonna start Blending it in in windshield wiper motions. Simple as that. And I'm just going to keep on going until I see the pigment showing up pretty well. And this color is also going up to my brow bone. By the way, this fluffy brush right here is slightly angled. So what it's really good for is those top or end bristles. It really helps to blend out. So all you really need to do is windshield wiper motions instead of circular motions. And now that I have that first layer of shadow all the way from the crease up to the brow bone, I'm going to keep it just in the crease and intensify the color as much as I possibly can. Now that I have the shadow where I want it to be, I'm going to take a smaller fluffy brush, and this is the City Color CC EO1 brush. I am going to go into the third color from the top, and it's like a, mm, a really light burnt orange color. It's really beautiful. I'm going to tap off the excess and then I'm going to apply this directly into my crease nowhere higher. I'm going to be doing this in windshield wiper motions as well. This color is very pigmented so I would go ahead and tap off as much ex excess as you possibly can and then apply it or else it will turn out pretty splotchy or muddy and that is not what we are going for in this look. Alright, so I think this color is done and now I am done with the crease, I can move on to the fun part. And by the fun part, I mean the liner. So what I did was that I got an angle brush with a slightly curved point. It really helps to pick up pigment but also leave out a really nice line. It's also pretty thin, so that's good. Um, this is the BH number 7 brush. What I did was that I sprayed it with some Master Fix. I actually kind of doused it in there so it will really pick it up. And then I picked up some of the pinkish, orangish pigment. And then I started doing it like any other liner. Just applying it. And I'm trying to keep this as thin as possible. Not only did the Fix Plus really help it grab on to the brushes, but it really intensified it too. Because I want this liner to be almost graphic looking and intense. Since it is not in a liner and it's actually an eyeshadow, you will need to pick up a whole lot more than you will usually do for a liner. 
but the end result is worth it because it's just so darn pretty. So I have the top lash line done. I'm going to start on the bottom. And basically what I'm doing is I'm starting from the end over here. And I'm dragging it all the way in. Keeping this line thin as well. And of course, if you feel like you need to add more on top to really intensify it and just to make it more pigmented, feel free. And the last step for the liner, of course, is the wing. So what I did actually is I start from my bottom lash line because I want both the bottom and the top to be part of the wing. And I start going up directly from my bottom until I have a high enough point equal to the one over here. And actually before I started I actually sprayed it with a little bit more Master Fix. And then bring it down. Connect the lines, fill it in. Basic liner. You know the drill. And now I'm going to brighten up my eyes some more. So what I did is I actually took the shade that we used to set the primer with. And I got this really tiny pencil brush. This is the BH Cosmetics number 10 brush. And I'm going to apply it to my inner corner. This is a matte color. But why the reason I'm using matte and not a shimmer like I usually do and love. Because... I really want the liner to be the, all the attention and nothing else. I use the same color for the brow bone except I use the Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. And with the CC EO3 brush I'm going to just blend those colors together. Make sure that there is nothing harsh going on between them. Now, I was contemplating if I really wanted to do this part. I wasn't sure. I thought everything looked good the way it was. But at the end, I also thought my eyes looked, looked kind of bare. So what I did is I used the Wet n Wild Cool Crayon. And this is in the color... I can never find these things. Baby's got black. <laughs> and I basically use it in my waterline and my upper waterline. That's it. And I feel like that really helps with my eyes to pop even more because there's a contrast between the black and the pink and it just makes it all look really beautiful and tied and really well together. And that there pretty much wraps us up. Uh, let's see, the mascara choice I had for today was the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot, still a favorite of mine. And the reason why I'm not wearing lashes today is because I really want this liner to show out throughout the entire day. Um, I feel like putting on false lashes will just not only hide it but just take attention away from it. So... That being said, I will skip the lashes for today. And in case you're curious on what's on my lips, it is a mixture of the Giordano, Giordano, Giordano I still have trouble saying that, Giordano colors in number 43 and NYC's uh, Ultra Moisture Lipstick in Petal. And another fun fact about it, I'm actually rocking this rose gold highlighter right here. I put it all over my face. It's actually on my body today. And I dabbed it in the middle of my lips for the little metallic feel. I love metallic lips. So, without further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching this one palette tutorial with the Carly by Bell Deluxe Edition palette. If you like the video, please give it a big old thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Also, if you'd like to leave a comment or question down below, I will comment back and answer back as soon as I possibly can. Also, feel free to check out my website for more content. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye-bye.